Hey dude, my name's Gilbert. Gilbert the Great. Yeah, the name was Dad's idea. Anyway, today I'm going on an epic journey through the human body. So, you want to watch? The trip starts as the human heads to the office lunchroom, opens his lunchbox, and finds me in there. What else has he got here? A turkey sandwich? Some yogurt? Hmm, I see he's taking a bite of his sandwich. Oh, now it's my turn. He's popped me into his mouth. Oh, it's go time. Gotta be honest, it's pretty wet and warm in here. The mouth is the gateway to the digestive system. That system is designed specifically to transform food into useful nutrients that keep you energized and help your cells grow and repair. So, once you grab the first bite of whatever you're eating, you turn on the digestion machine. As you chew, food is broken up into pieces to make the process easier. Saliva comes in handy as it mixes with food and breaks it down even more. That way, your stomach doesn't have to digest whole chunks of food. By the way, here's a fun fact. The amount of saliva you produce in a year could fill two medium-sized bathtubs, almost a pool full of drool. Wow, it's really raining spit in here. Ew. Whoa, I better watch out for these teeth. Wouldn't want to end up like Turkey Boy over there. It's hard since this guy is using his tongue to roll food around in his mouth and toward his teeth. I really don't feel like becoming jammed today, so I'm gonna just bypass all this chewing. Down the chute we go! Wee -hee -hee. We're now heading into the throat. They also call it the pharynx. Uh-oh, fork in the road. Which way do I go? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Looks like this way we must go. Hang on. Oh, I think I took a wrong turn. Why is everything shaking? Oh, poor human is coughing like crazy. Somebody give him a nice slap on the back. Ah, there we go, coming back up. Ooh, sorry, dude. Whew, that was close. Almost ended up in his lungs. That wouldn't be very good. All right, I'm back on the road, so let's give it another try. I've correctly turned into the swallowing tube that goes by the sophisticated name of esophagus. I like to call it the food chute, but it's a lot less spacey than I imagined. I'm kind of getting squished in here. Uh-oh, how do I keep going down? Oh, I see. The muscles in the walls of this guy's esophagus are squeezing behind me and relaxing in front of me. This is a process called peristalsis, and it's what moves me through your digestive system. A couple of seconds later, and we've now reached the end of the tunnel. There's a muscle here that opens up to let food into the stomach and keeps it from coming back out into the esophagus. It's kind of like the TSA in a way. Hey, I'm just a tourist here, sir. Please let me in. Yay! I've passed through the valve and into the stomach. It reminds me of a sack, and let me try those walls. Whoa, that's a strong one. It's all muscle. I'm not surprised, actually. The stomach holds, mixes, and grinds the food up into a mush, so it has to be pretty strong. Quite honestly, this doesn't look too… oh my, what's that? Ow, that burns like crazy! Oh, 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 hot! I gotta get out of this stomach acid or else I'll turn into liquid or paste like turkey sandwich over there. That's okay, I've come prepared. I brought this handy dandy little device that'll encase me in a protective bubble. Your food usually doesn't have this, but hey, I got connections. It's classified. I just have to push this button. There. Now I can keep talking to you the whole way instead of turning into grape jelly. Next stop, the small intestine. This long coiled snaky organ is made up of three sections. When I say long, I mean it. If you spread it out, which I don't recommend doing because you need it to be coiled and inside of you, you get a tube that's over 20 feet in length. Yep, that's as long as a giraffe is tall, all stuffed into your insides. I must say, it's pretty warm in here. Almost feels like a tropical resort. Except, I'm in an ocean of bile. Oh yeah, I'm protected in my little bubble, no worries. Bile is crucial to digest fat and take all the waste out of your blood. So be thankful your liver produces it. Your pancreas also helps the process with some good enzymes. And that thing over there that looks like a pear? That's the gallbladder. It's located under the liver and keeps bile in it until the right moment comes. Man, this thing really is coiled, huh? I'm getting kind of dizzy from the twists and turns. But no going back now. These contracting intestinal walls keep pushing me forward. 
Looks like I'm already in the final section of the small intestine and on to the next leg of my journey, the large intestine. Also known as the colon, it's a muscular tube that's five to six feet long. Hold the phone. Shh. Do you hear that? I'm not alone. I'm surrounded. They're coming in closer. It's, it's bacteria. Oh, there's tons of them in here. Uh-oh, is this person sick with some intestinal parasite or something? Nah, your intestines need good bacteria to help them break down food, vitamins, and nutrients so that your body can use them. So, peeps? Hey, what's that little dangly thing over there at the entrance? Ah, that must be the appendix. It doesn't do much besides house bacteria that might be released into the gut. It's also got some tissues that are useful for your immune system. But it's mostly a useless little thing, so people can still live without it. Hey, if your appendix gets inflamed, a doctor will cut it out of you. Really? Looks like this guy still has his. Good for you. Anyway, we're now in the large intestine, and I'm glad it's a little roomier in here. Had I not grabbed my fancy top secret protective bubble, I'd be talking to you now as a liquidy yellowish mush of waste. As these muscle contractions push me through the colon, I'd have all the water sucked out of me. My final form? Stool. Yep, poo, doo-doo, number two, whatever you like to call it. It's formed in the large intestine. Still, loads of bacteria all over the place. They're really hard at work, eh? Well, there can't be too little or too many. Otherwise, you'd have digestive problems like food intolerances. They also play a major role in your immunity. And that's why you have trillions of them in your gut. Hey, keep up the good work, guys. I'm on my way through the left colon. When it gets too full of stool, it decides to dump it all into the rectum because it can't hold it all by itself. It usually takes about 36 hours for what's left of your food, not much now, just waste, to reach this point. But I've been speeding through this journey because I've got some other great stuff to do. <laughs> so let's head to the rectum already. Geronimo! The rectum is a straight chamber that's about 8 inches long. It has special sensors like this one or that one there that let you know when there's something you should get rid of. They send a signal to the brain when stool or gas want to make their exit. That's about the time when a thought pops up in your brain. Oh, gotta go to the bathroom. If the moment is right for you, that is, you find a toilet, the sphincters relax and ta-da! Your stool makes its exit. Bye bye pizza from yesterday's breakfast. What? No one else here has cold pizza for breakfast? All right, then let me know down in the comments what your typical breakfast looks like. Anyway, when the moment isn't exactly right to release stool just yet, your sphincters contract. Those rectum sensors help too so that the urge to release its contents disappears for a while. You should be happy when your rectum and sphincters are working hard to keep stuff in when the timing isn't good. Like when you're driving to work, on a date, getting groceries, sleeping. But when you just can't resist the urge anymore, the external sphincter gives you a couple more minutes or however long you need until you make it to the bathroom. Well, not sure if the human is ready, but I'd really like to go now. Maybe I can hotwire these sensors to make my great escape. Oh yeah, this guy is at work, isn't he? Um, this is gonna be awkward. Of course, normal food doesn't leave your body in such a graceful manner. You wouldn't even recognize what was what. But as for me, Gilbert the Grape, I still have important things to do today. So, hey Bob, let's hit the john. I'm out of here. Bye! Well, that was different. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.